Today I'm going to show you how you can easily create a cool animated jersey swap effect in a video just like this. Yo, what is going on? My name is Peter Strellis and I am a videographer from Toronto, Canada. I specialize in sports, events, and commercial work. And today I'm going to show you how you can create a super simple jersey swap animation in Adobe After Effects. I didn't really learn this from anywhere, I just kind of made it up on my own using some techniques that I've learned over my years of filming stuff. But it's a pretty cool effect I think, I've used it in multiple projects and my clients have been pretty stoked on it. So I want to share it with you guys so that other people can do it because it's cool and I love sharing these cool awesome tips with people. But without further ado, let's get into Adobe After Effects. So I've got this clip here, I'll just play it through once so we can all see it. It looks something like this, it's fairly standard. And you can see that I made a marking here. I've left a marker right here where I want the jersey swap effect to start. And there's a marker here where I want the jersey swap effect to end. So we're going to start by duplicating our original layer. That's Command D. And then we're going to go Command Shift D, which cut, adds a cut right in the middle of the layer. And we'll delete before the marker. Then we'll go to the marker where we want this effect to end. Command Shift D to add a cut. And we'll delete after the marker. Now we need to get the Roto Brush tool and what we're essentially going to do is mask this jersey out from the background so that this jersey is on a layer on its own and then we have the original video on a layer beneath it. So we'll come up here, we'll click on the Roto Brush tool and then we're going to double click on our image that puts us into the layers panel since you need to be in the layers panel to use the Roto Brush tool. So now we're going to make a selection of the jersey which in this case is the entire white part. You can see that every once in a while we are going to pick up stuff that is not within the white part and we're just going to hold option and then we're going to click and that's going to deselect areas and we're just going to do this until we get the entire jersey and nothing else. Finding the edges a little bit and that should be good, at least for the purposes of a tutorial. So now that we have this selected, what we do is you come down to right here and you see this little black thing that I'm dragging here? This determines the render area for when you click the spacebar. So if I drag this out to the end of the clip, then when I click the spacebar, After Effects is gonna start playing through my video and try to render this roto brush and automatically track the, ob the object that I've drawn around right until the end of this area. So what I would suggest if you're doing this effect on a jersey that is very contrasted to its background, for example, a bright jersey on a white background, is do this roto brush and then you click spacebar like this and it will try to track through the shot. Now you can see here, because there's not a ton of contrast to the background, although we have this blue bit in the background and the other part of the wall is white, you can see that going through and tracking, there's been some mistakes. Here, the entire jersey is rotoed out but as you go through, the roto brush is just missing stuff all the way through. So what we're going to do is go frame by frame and correct it. Let me turn off the bottom layer so you can see what I'm doing here. If I go back to the composition panel, you can see that this first frame now is just the jersey and absolutely nothing else. So we'll come back into the layers panel so you can see what we're doing. And we're just going to hold command and click the right arrow that jumps us forward one frame. And we're going to correct all the mistakes in the roto brush. So we're going to click here click here, hold option and get rid of this bit. Do that again over here. And we're just gonna go through and make all these smaller refinements to make sure that we've selected the exact area that we want and nothing else. Now you can also do this with the pen tool if you feel more comfortable using that or if you're working on a shot where there really is no contrast between the background and the jersey of the player who you're swapping because the pen tool will be more exact. But for this effect, it's lasting literally less than a second. It's just gonna fade on, fade off really quickly. And I would rather just use the roto brush for the sake of time given that. Anyways, I'm not going to put you through the process of watching me do all these frames. So I'm just gonna speed this part up and I'll see you when this is all cut out. All right, so now we have our jersey cut out on one layer and the rest of the shot on another layer. So you can see if I turn off this bottom layer, which is the original track, then on this track, we just have the jersey cut out and nothing else. Obviously, this is a really rough cutout. I just did this super quickly for the sake of the tutorial. But having this jersey cut out is going to allow me to show you the rest of the effect. And then you can go home and do it yourself and take more than like 10 minutes to use your roto brush. So the first thing that we're going to do is go into our roto brush settings. So we're going to click decontaminate edge colors. Then we're also going to go to reduce chatter, lift that up a little bit, shift the edge inward a teeny tiny bit and we're gonna feather it a little bit. And that'll just help clean up those edges that you saw were very, very rough when we were looking at the original layer. And now we're going to start adding our effects. The first effect that I like to add is the cartoon effect. So you're gonna search for cartoon, 
and that gets dropped right onto the layer. Automatically, you can see the jersey goes from being a regular jersey to having some thicker edges and being a little bit more, well, cartoonish. By the way, I should mention something. The plugin that I use there to select the cartoon effect is FX Console by Video Copilot. It is a great plugin. If you don't have it, go get it. I've mentioned it before. Link in description. Go get it right after this video. But anyways, back to this effect. So now we have the cartoon effect on our jersey. I'm going to drop this back down to half quality so we can actually render at a reasonable rate. But now we're going to add our next effect, which is the toner effect. So you search for toner and CC toner. It's right there. This effect allows you to make your highlights, shadows, and midtones all one solid color, and that color can be any color that you choose. This is great because now that we have our jersey separated onto a different layer, we can make this jersey literally any color that we want and make it stand out from the scene, which is what we're really going for with this effect. In this case, the team that I'm doing this effect for, their colors are blue and gold. So I'm going to match the shadow color to their blue. I'm going to match the midtone color to their gold. And actually, you know what? Maybe I'll make the highlights white. Midtone colors, yes, perfect. So the highlights are going to be this team's gold, the midtones will be white, and the shadows will be their blue. So now you can see that we have this cool effect where we have this jersey swap, whereas before we had this. And now after adding the cartoon effect and the CC toner effect, this is what this player's jersey looks like. So we got a cool jersey swap, just with a little bit of masking and a couple effects. Now, if you want this effect to go on and off kind of in a unique way, not to kind of pop up there, what we can do is add a gradient ramp. So we're going to go for the gradient ramp effect and I'll actually go into the effects and presets panel for this one. If you're going to find all these effects and you don't have FX console installed, you come to the effects and presets panel. This is where you find all your effects and you can search for the cartoon effect, the CC toner effect and any other effects that you want, but you probably already knew that. Anyways, we're going to grab the gradient wipe effect. So go to gradient wipe. We're going to drop that onto here. And basically we're going to keyframe this on and then keyframe it off. So we'll click E on our layer to bring up all the effects that we have. We'll open gradient wipe. And then we are going to go forward a couple of frames, hold command and click that red arrow a couple times. And we're going to keep the transition completeness at zero. Click command and then click the left arrow a couple times. That brings us back to the start. Bring the transition completeness to 100%. And that makes it so that the jersey is not being affected at all by any of these effects. Now we will go to the end. We're going to set the keyframe at the very end to 100. Click the click command and the left arrow a couple times. This goes to zero. And now you can see that as we start the clip, there is no effect. You go forward one and we need to bring the, shot, the softness up a teeny tiny bit. Like that wasn't really subtle enough for my liking. So let's extend this a little bit more. We'll space these keyframes out a bit so there's more frames in between. And now you can see there's no effect. Let's move this back, move this back. Now you can see there's no effect, a little bit of an effect, more, more, it's all the way there. And here, full effect, lesser, 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 gone. And if we play this back, it looks something like this. It's a super easy effect to do. It can be really effective. It's one of my favorite effects. I'm super happy that I kind of stumbled onto it at some point, and hopefully you can use it for your work as well. So if you like this video, then please make sure to subscribe because I'm releasing tutorials and helpful videos for videographers and creatives such as yourself on a regular basis. Now I'd love to have you around so we can keep learning together. Let me know in the comments how you use this effect. If you have any examples of your work where you're using this effect in it, please link them to me. I would love to see them. You can reach me on my DMs on Instagram. My handle is at PeaceSorellis. And yeah, just send me your work with this effect in it. I would absolutely love to see it and have a discussion with you over there. Anyways, that is going to be all for today. So until next time, peace.